morning, Claxton students, staff, and families. Today is Tuesday, April 27th, and today is the 157th day of school. Today is National Tell a Story Day. This day encourages people of all ages to share all kinds of stories, whether it's read from a book, one from your imagination, or a childhood memory. Stories can entertain and educate. Storytelling is an ancient practice used to hand down knowledge from one generation to the next. Each December, Claxton has a storytelling festival. We are excited to begin having that again next school year when things are hopefully back to normal. And you know whose stories I love to listen to? Mr. Godlowski, he's got the best stories. Today's weather is gonna be partly cloudy with a high of 82 degrees. Woo, that's warm. Now let's check in with our happy days and together we read Tuesdays. Hi, people of the world. Back with another YouTube video. I'm Karen, and today we have a very special guest. I have many questions. Why am I even here? What am I doing here? Well, if you really want to know, I'm, I'm shouting out a birthday to a very special person. Happy birthday, Miss Deal! On this very special day, April 27th. Whatever, I guess so. Um, happy birthday, Miss Deal, and yes, happy birthday. I'm Karen, and you know everything about me. I'm just very beautiful, very famous, everything about me. Okay, now you're just taking over my YouTube channel. Go and get me a Big Mac before I start throwing things. You know what? At this point, I have nothing better to do with my time. Here's your Big Mac. Oh, well, goodness. Thank you. Happy birthday, Miss D. I hope you have a very beautiful day. Happy birthday. Well, wish you really good. Good morning and welcome to Together We Read Tuesdays. I'm your librarian, Miss Brown. You have heard by now of a project that our amazing and beautiful Miss Conti um, conceptualized, kind of came up with, that we've been bringing to our Claxton third graders for a few years now with like the entire third grade team and the specialist team as well. So in this project, uh, third grade students research important figures in Asheville's history. And they see which figures have been commemorated, celebrated, remembered with uh, street names or monuments or even town names and, and things, and who is not. And they start asking questions and thinking really critically about why this is. This year with virtual learning, it was, it was hard to dig into this project like we normally do. Um, in the past, we take our students on um, field trips with hood huggers and all sorts of things, but we were still able to honor um, the New Monuments project and honor the important thinking that it hopefully inspires. So students got to meet, as they, they do each year, um, with Duane B. Love Barton, who very much in his life and in his work here in Asheville lives this work. So he's an activist and an artist and he does really good things for our community. Like, if you haven't been to the Peace Gardens yet in West Asheville or been on a Hood Huggers tour, um, I encourage you to do so. He not only did a kickoff presentation for our third graders, but also popped into our spoken word poetry workshop that Ms. Rigsby and I led, into the music workshop that Mr. Butler led, um, and to the week-long um, art and sculpture workshop led by Ms. Olson and helped guide our work. I'm so proud to present the 2020-2021 Claxton Third Graders Spoken Word Poetry Performance that they wrote and they performed here. Um, please visit the specialist webpage to find more information on the workshops and the residencies tab. There is also a spoken word um, performance presentation by B. Love himself um, as he showed our students kind of what um, spoken word is all about. I present new monuments. School names, run names, train city names, train track, street names, monuments. All white men, no reward. All slave owners, no paycheck. All commemorated, no recognition. Disappointment. Not fair. It's easier to believe an easy lie than a hard truth. Raw. School name, 
is running to the train crash, train is monument. The ones that did the work. Dream of freedom. The ones who go unnamed. Dream of being with their family. The ones that are unrecognized. Dream of choosing for themselves. The ones that we don't see. Dream of credit. It's easier to believe an easy lie than a hard truth. Rawr. School names, romance, scene names, train crash, street names, monuments. Let's give these people what they deserve. Let's be inspired. Let's make it right. Lucy S. Terry, hardworking, smart, taught, influence, read, Hill Street. Stephen Lee, Living Stone, well, Living Stone College. Why am I? Rope. Food. Supervisor. Kind. Loving. Lucy S. Hair. Taffy Avery. Skill. Nurse in, in midwife and delivered many, many babies. Courageous, strong, important. Enslaved for 34 years. Drink. Got first real. Ethical, thoughtful, loving. Saint Wilfred family from Indian troops. Stumptown. Connected with people, thriving black community. Her house was torn down and monster was built. School names, women, city names, train dress, street names, money men. It's easier to believe an easy lie than a hard truth. We believe the hard truth. We dream in Asheville where we help all people. We dream as United Queen Community. We dream monuments of peace. We dream a world with no racism. We dream uh, Asheville where we treat others equal. School names, your name, city name, train tracks, street name. No monuments! <laughs> no All right, I have a joke from Tiger in third grade. Tiger says, have you ever seen an elephant in a tree? No, because they're so good at hiding. <laughs> I didn't know that, Tiger. We have some golden tickets today. Miss Paxson has one for my F for always being ready to read, remembering the stories we've read, and having deep wonderings about our new books. Way to go, Maya. Adelaide says, we have golden tickets for Miss Huntsinger. She does a great job cleaning our school. Oh, that's an awesome golden ticket, Adelaide. Miss Lauder has one for Adam H. for asking another classmate to join them in a game. Way to be kind and inclusive. Miss Paxson has one for Oliver M. in first grade for making sure someone else won in our Mother May I syllable game. What a thoughtful, generous friend. Ms. Paxson has one for Chance H for meeting his reading goal. Way to go, Chance. I am so proud of your positive persistence. So how have you been sharpening your saw lately? We heard from Kaya in fifth grade that she likes to help other people recharge and reset. Kaya, that's awesome. Sharpening your saw about helping other people. That sounds great. All right, Claxon leaders, have a thoughtful Tuesday. See you tomorrow. Now it's time for the Claxton Pledge. At Claxton Elementary, I am a leader. I pledge to live the habits, value the arts, and celebrate our highest diversity. I work hard to learn new things and always give my best effort. 
I show respect to others and choose to be a leader in my community. I am attentive, responsible, thoughtful, and safe. I am a proud and dependable Claxton B, even when no one's watching me. Remember, you and your family can send in jokes and golden tickets and shout outs to our email account and we'll include them in the announcements as soon as we can. The email account that you should email these to is clxannouncements at acsgmail.net. You can also submit to the CLX announcements by filling out the Google form on our remote learning website. One time on the playground at recess when I was a kindergarten teacher assistant, a little boy named Ethan ran up to me and he had an earthworm in his hand. And the little earthworm was wiggling there in his hand and he ran up and he was so excited. And he was like, Mr. Godlesky, Mr. Godlesky, look, look what I got, look what. And I looked down and the little earthworm was laying in his hand. And just to be silly, I said, what are you gonna name him? And he acted real, he was like. Ah. And then he says, Fluffy. All right.